Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the clock change, the fall back um, autumn clock change where the clocks go back by an hour. So stick around because we're going to be talking all about how you can manage this for a good night's sleep and the effects that this can have as well on your little ones. Okay, so clock changes, oh, they're a pain, aren't they? They can absolutely wreak havoc on our bodies and on our brains. Even that one hour is, it has an effect. So I wanna help you with this, and I'm gonna start off today by giving you the uh, first approach that I recommend for handling this clock change so that we can try to alleviate those effects um, on our bodies. And this is, I call this the gradual approach. It's a gradual approach. I have others and they're coming up in the next few episodes for you, but today it's all about the gradual approach. Um, I'll explain it first and then I'm gonna tell you who this is best suited to. So the clocks are gonna go back. When the clocks go back, we need to adjust our timing forward. So let's, um, let's take a, a, a typical bedtime of 7 p.m. It's the easiest one to work with. So let's say your little one's bedtime is 7 p.m. With a gradual approach, we're gonna start moving things on Wednesday. The clock change is early hours of a Sunday morning, okay? So we've got up till Saturday bedtime to work on this. So we start with Wednesday and every night, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to shift the bedtime 15 minutes later each night. So it's basically 15 minutes later times four nights. So we start on Wednesday and if bedtime was seven, we're gonna make it 7.15 on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're gonna make it 7.30. On Friday, we're gonna make it 7.45. And then on Saturday night, it's gonna be an eight o'clock bedtime and that's gonna feel weird. But that eight o'clock during the night is gonna magically become seven because the clocks will have notched back. By putting your little one who has a 7 p.m. bedtime down at eight that night, they will still have the same number of hours sleep um, as normal and wake up at the same time on the clock that they normally wake up at um, and it will feel like a, a normal night and a normal wake up time for them. Um, and this gradual approach is really nice at just gently easing the body clock to that new time. That's the gradual approach and that's how it works. Now, who is it for? This is for babies and young children who are quite sensitive to change, sensitive to, so if, they, if they're typically quite sensitive to changes in environment, if they're somebody who really does like routine, um, and if they're a little one who is very susceptible to overtiredness, if they're a super alert, and you may, if you followed me for a while, know what I mean by that. If they're a super alert little one, this is gonna be the approach for you because they're not likely to be the kind of child who you know, makes up their sleep hours. If you've got a little one who, if they have a late night, they tend to sleep in a bit later in the morning, then this might not be necessary for you. Um, but if you have a little one who is like, it doesn't matter what time I put them to bed, early, late, whatever, they're still gonna wake up at six o'clock on the dot, and then they are quite sensitive to this and it, it's gonna be, a uh, a gradual shift for you. Okay, so I'm going to share in my next episode another way that you could navigate this and who that's for. I have a few of these coming up for you, so I can't wait to see you over there in the next episode. If you have any questions, just ask and check out the free sleep resource we have for you with the link below because that's gonna give you a custom sleep plan uh, which is golden. So go and check that out right now and I will see you again real soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.